I'm Karen Goodman here in New York City at the premiere of The Meat Puppet. Now in just a second, we're going to talk to some of the stars who made this film possible and some of the moviegoers who are here to support the film. Okay, so Bumblefoot from Guns N' Roses, great to see you and your wife Jennifer. You both look great this evening. Thank you, and you too, looking snazzy. Look at you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. So tell me about your experience in the movie. I know you not only played a role, but you also did some of the music. Yeah, did some of the music, just tried to come up with something very ominous and very striking, something that really would, uh, would match. And hopefully, uh, hopefully All right, did. so we're with Emilio Marcella. Nice to see you this evening. Hello, how are you? You look very great. I think... That dress is stunning. <laughs> thank you. I mean, this is like a good get-up right here, I have to say. Thank you, thank you. And you got some bling in your ears. I have some matching boxers also. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't see that. However, all right, so let's get to the topic at hand, the movie The Meat Puppet. So what was it like? What was your experience like in this film? And maybe for any young visionary actors and actresses, you know, can you tell us any behind-the-scenes stories? Um, it, was, it was actually a, a lot of fun. Um, you know, you wait, you rush to wait. That's, that's the main part. But it's a lot of fun backstage. Everybody's hilarious. Bumblefoot was really funny. Um, Keith is an amazing guy. He's got everybody just going in the back. It's, it was a great time. Jessica Tark, great to see you. You were fa phenomenal in the oh, film. Thank you so much. And her daughter, Callista, was also yeah. in the film. She did a great job. Yes, I know. I'm so proud. It was so amazing to sit there. And it was very emotional to see, you know, my little daughter on screen. She was so great. And she's adorable. She had a, a few words to say. She Yes, on set, she was actually very relaxed. And she was able to just, you know, be herself. And she was able to say some things like dad, dad during the film. Great to see you. And congratulations on the movie. It was excellent. Thank you. I was thrilled to see it. It's Have outstanding. Have done horror, horror movies in the past? This is my first horror movie. So it was actually a lot of fun. We had an absolute blast on set. Tons of laughs. Are there any behind the scenes things you can tell the viewers that we might not have seen? Ooh, well those boots I was wearing, we had to use pliers to pull them all the way up. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> that is very, very interesting. So do you think you would do horror movies or other movies in the future? Absolutely. It was, we had so much fun. It was such a great cast to work with and the producers were outstanding. So it's great. Jamie Kovac, thanks for coming out tonight. Thank right, you. Blaze Coyle, great to see you. This was a fantastic movie. Thank now, you. you own Silver Phoenix Entertainment. Now, I need to ask, is this your first horror movie that Silver Phoenix has done? Very first horror movie Silver Phoenix has done, yes. So, I know this was a collaborative effort. Can you talk about the partnerships for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Keith Collins and Joe and I actually all worked together in a movie called Echelon 8. And uh, that's how we all met. Um, and from there, Keith contacted me. He had this great idea, pitched it to me. and. That was it. I fell in love with the story, and then I contacted Joe, and and then kind of the rest is history. Great so. to see you tonight. Hey, great to be here. So you play Detective John O'Brien in the movie. What was that like in that role? Um, it was uh, very gruff and really messy, if I remember correctly. It's uh, it's it's pretty yeah, it's pretty gory. There's a lot of stuff covering me what at different was it like times. Working with some of that special effects makeup. Um, actually, this is the first time I've ever been offed on film, so it was really cool uh, to kind of look down and see it. Uh, it, got, it got smelly under some hot lights, but it was, eh, we made it through. That's what it's all about, right? All right, cool. That is sort of what it's about. <laughs> Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Daniela Rivera, great to see you tonight. You're looking lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so, you play the lead female in this movie. What was it like playing the female, and did you have to do anything to get into character? Um, yes, I was the lead. It was really exciting to be the lead uh, of this particular movie. Um, to get into character, wow, I just felt like uh, Terry was kind of an extension of who I was, to be honest with you. Um, I just, you know, I kind of like thought about my own family, thought about my own son, if I had one, you know, and I actually th thought a lot about my nephew because if anything, that's who I'm with most of the time. So I kind of thought of how I would feel about him. And if anyone would would be hurting my family, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. kind of like what, how Billy I feel. Garcia, about. great to see you this evening. Likewise, likewise, you're looking stunning. Thank you so much. So let's talk about your experience on the Meat Puppet. I know that you did Survivor. Yes. So are there any comparisons between Survivor and the Meat Puppet since they're pretty raw experiences, both of them? Uh, I would say in the Meat Puppet, a lot less survived. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, but both raw experiences. Yeah, yeah. With uh, with Survivor, there was a lot of starving, getting bug eaten, and and uh, we did slash each other's throat, but that was symbolically. <laughs> All right, so we're with David Joseph. Great to see you tonight. Great to see you, looking so, beautiful. And you're looking <laughs> dapper as ever. So you played the father in this movie, and I know that it was an abusive role. What was it like, you know, getting into character, playing that role? Was it difficult? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it's not your nature, <laughs> that's one thing, uh, to try to get into a role that's 
completely different from you. So the that's not your nature. No, I'm not abusive. <laughs> thank goodness. So uh, <laughs> I like to smile a lot. In, my, in this role, I wasn't smiling at all. So it was it was a definitely a challenging role. So would you say that being on the set of a horror movie is scarier than watching one at home? No, it's 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 a little bit different. Definitely a little bit different because you're behind the scenes, so you really know what's going on. You know, when you once you get it on film, it's a whole other ball game. All right, well, thanks so much, and we'll see you later. Right, Gio, great to see you this evening. Thanks for coming out and supporting the film. Thank you very much, Karen. So, how did you hear about the Meat Puppet? Well, I'm friends with Blade, so uh, it's just easy. She invited me, so it's very nice. That's great. So, I also know that you design some. You design a lot of stuff for Sex in the City movie. Can you talk about that and also potentially some of the other stuff you have in the pipeline? Yeah, I designed clothes for Sex and the City. Um, it was very uh, nice experience. The girls are very, very fun. They're very nice and uh, they're pleasant to work with. So, and how did you get into that? Uh, my agent had connections nice. with them. So, with the meat puppet, are, have you heard anything about it? Not yet. I, know, I, I heard that it's very, very scary. So I'm <laughs> just uh, preparing myself. Very scary. I know. Are you scared of horror movies? I am not. I like. I like the emotions, uh, but I'm not necessarily. Cindy Fox and Tiffany Aiello, great to see you both. And you both, you both are looking lovely. So I want to talk about the Meat Puppet for a second. Have you guys done movies like this before? I um, never. Did no, anything. I don't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Do you watch horror movies? No. No. Are, are you scared of them? I am. I don't sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep either. I read the first page and I didn't want to read the rest, but I forced myself to, and it's actually really good. But yeah, seeing it is going to be different. On behalf of everyone at the Meat Puppet, I'm Karen Goodman, and today is going to be a good day.